Hi, we're the Goins family. I'm Jay. And I'm Carolee. We have three kids. Callan is six. That's why I hate my brother so much, because he makes You me don't sick. hate your brother. Colbin is five. <gasps> And Cadence is two. And mommy's a witness, and daddy was a kid. I'm a stay-at-home mom. Stop it. <coughs> Stop it. Uh, I'm a letter carrier here in the Salt Lake City area. You climb up there. Come on. Let's go. Callan, he's been diagnosed with ADHD. Callan, we're not doing it. I took it away for a reason. Hey. Hey, that <coughs> is enough. Shut up, Dad. What? He's very unpredictable. I did not do it. Callum, we're just talking to you about it. Anything will set him off. Hey. Don't hit me. He swings at me, he'll kick at me, he'll hit me. Don't. Leave her alone, come on. That was very rude. Homework is also very frustrating to him. It's not my homework. I know. Do not help me. You want to stay in first grade? Because of the ADHD, I have a hard time knowing how to discipline him in the proper way. Oh boy, mom looks like she's ready to lose it. Ah! Colbin, he's a character. <gasps> Most of the time, he's doing something he shouldn't be doing. Uh, 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 uh. That's enough. A bit of authority wouldn't go amiss, would it now? Cadence is learning a lot from her brothers, which I do not like. Yeah! Enough. Cadence. Are you mad? Yeah! Uh oh. Uh, what are you doing? Snack time has been a problem for us. You know, they snack all day long and they continue to do it all day long, but they don't even eat dinner, too. It comes to that. We're not getting a snack right now. We're not getting anything out of the cover. Get down. Colvin, you got into the snack, and now you're not eating, so sit down and eat. I feel lost. I feel like we're at a dead end. I don't know where to turn. No, I did it! I feel like if I don't get things under control with Callan, then it's going to lead to more problems. What is your problem? I'm going to get a knife and kill myself. That is enough. Whoa, don't be me. Callan. Super Nanny, we need your help right now. We need to get things under control, or it's just going to continue to get worse. Hang on, Mom. I'm on my way. Glad you're here. Nice to meet you. I'm Jo. I'm Carolee. Hi. Please come in. Hello. Say hi. Who have we got here? I like to find it. This What's is your Kate. name? I'm Cadence. You're Cadence. And how old are you? Pleased to meet you. You're going to shake Jo's hand. Hello. Hello. Hi. Come on, hi. Come on. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jojo. Hi. How old are you? Six. Six. What's your name? Colbin. Hi, Colbin. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jojo. How old are you, Colbin? Five. Five. When I saw Jo, Six, I was five. excited to see her. I've been having such a hard time with my kids, and it was good to see that help had finally arrived. I felt relieved. I'm going to drop my bag down over here. OK. I'm going to let you carry on with your day, and I'm going to watch. OK. All right, so let's get cracking and do this. OK. The thing with my kids is they're very unpredictable, so you just never know what's going to set them off. Yeah. The first thing that Mum did was to show me around the house, and she really revealed some exciting news to me. I'm pregnant again. So. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. This was kind of a surprise. Yeah. We decided we didn't want any more because we were having a hard time with our kids. So yeah, so this will be... This will be the, the new room. baby's room. Yeah. With another child coming into the mix, it's going to cause a lot of chaos. <laughs> And then as we got downstairs, things started to get pretty chaotic quickly. No! We're not getting cereal. Snacking is a very big stress for me. They want a snack all day long. We're not having a snack. It was pretty clear to me that this snack fight was all about the kids trying to grab hold of Mum's attention. Do you want a drink? Are you thirsty? The fight over the snacks started to get worse when Callan, who's got attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, started to lose it and get aggressive with Mum. Don't. 
That's what you deserve. That's what I deserve? Yes. Research has shown that in an average classroom, at least one child's got ADHD. You're not going to hit me, and you're going to sit in time out. Children with ADHD can find it very difficult to focus, listen, and follow directions. Don't hit me. You don't hit me. And sometimes they can be fidgety and very easily distracted. Stop! Ow! Don't! When he doesn't get his way, it's always a battle. Shall we start your time over? Mum was trying to use the naughty bench, but she was being far too confrontational, especially as Callan's got ADHD. I told you to get out of the snacks. You didn't listen. Get down here and get in time out. No. Do you think you're being funny? I can do whatever I want. Mum's very confused when it comes to how to handle Callan. I don't know how to help him. I want to do the best for him. Carol Lee was struggling on how to handle having a child with ADHD. I get calls, you know, he's in first grade, he's going to detention. I'm having to pick him up from school. He's been on and off medication, but Mum is still indecisive as to how best to improve his behaviour. Is he on medication now? No. And have you seen a change in his behaviour? Most definitely. It's got worse or it's got...? It's gotten worse. The most stressful part is he wants to be good, and he can't be good. I'm kind of at a dead end. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Well, we, we're going to turn you around from that dead end, and you will know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're going to the park. Come on. All right, ready? After such a difficult morning, I just thought it would be a really good idea if I just got everybody out of the house for a bit of fresh air. But my intuition sensed that something was definitely wrong with Carol Lee, and I wanted to know what she was thinking. I worry a lot about their future, if I'm doing the right thing. I think sometimes, you know, thinking about having another one scares me. What scares you about it? Because obviously we're not, we're not, we're not doing the right thing. I want to enjoy my kids. It's just been so stressful, you know, so I've kind of lost that. I don't want to have to hold my breath every morning when I wake up because I know that it's going to be a hard day. It felt good to get it off my chest. It felt good to have somebody see and take notice as to what I was really feeling, because no one's ever done that. But, you know, the best thing you did, you know, was to recognise that you needed to change things and you didn't know how to, so you reached out for help. That's a good thing. That's a positive thing. You want to change, and that's half the battle. So together, we're going to do it. I'm excited. Come on, let's go get the boys. OK. Unfortunately, as we got back from the park, Carol Lee's struggle with Callan started all over again. Come sit down. We're going to do our homework. Dad's going to be home. Come on. You have to. Let me show you. Callan with his homework. It's always a battle. I dread it. I dread every night trying to sit down with him and do his homework. Listen, Callan, look at me. Homework can often be a very big challenge for children who have got ADHD. You've got so much homework to do. They find it difficult to pay attention and concentrate for any length of time. Let's get a couple pages done. Kellen, please. Oh! Please, we've got to get this done. Mum struggled to get Callan to do his homework for an hour. Just seemed like a useless task to me. Down. Come on. It's difficult enough to get any six-year-old to do their homework, let alone a child who's got ADHD. In the midst of Carol Lee and Callan's struggle, Dad came home. Hi, I'm pleased Hello. to meet you. I'm Joe. How are you doing? I've Hi. seen you before. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw Joe, I was pretty amazed that she was actually standing in my home. Something's going on. <laughs> I'm busy watching today. We're trying to do What's homework. Up, he is building things. It's a battle. Cadence. Oh, that! But this isn't your homework. 
I know, but I was doing something I didn't do that. So I'm gonna go upstairs and get uh, changed and everything. When Jay comes home, he goes straight upstairs. I'm left to still deal with the kids and the chaos. Let's look and see what we've got. She's struggling with Callan's homework while the other two kids are running around. She's pregnant, for goodness sake. And I was expecting Dad to come downstairs and help out. Can we just focus on just... What do I need to do? We'll just do this one right now. And yet he didn't come down until 45 minutes later. <laughs> and I really wanted to know why he chose to do this. So when you come in, you do what? When I finally decide that I'm hungry, <laughs> then I come downstairs. Then I'll stay upstairs for an hour. <laughs> He'll stay upstairs for an hour. All right, what do you do up there then, when you're up there for the hour? Oh, I don't know. Hanging out, yeah. you know, kind of unwinding maybe from the day, I guess. Yeah. Dad might be trying to make light of this situation, but it certainly isn't any laughing matter for Mum. I'm so done. I'm frustrated, and he gets to go upstairs and have his time, and I don't. You know, and it bugs me. Looking at Carol Lee, anybody could tell that she's just exhausted, and she needs Jay's help. Ow! Stop. No, we're going to get our pajamas on. I've had enough. Dad might not be hiding out in his room anymore, but he's certainly not any help. Carol Lee is fighting this situation all on her own. Let's get it done. Open. I don't know about you, but I am tired. Let's get this done. And then I saw Carol Lee brushing Callan's teeth, who's six years ah! old, and I knew that I'd seen enough. Mom. I need to sit Mum and Dad down and talk to them now. What I see between the pair of you is a real lack of maturity with regards to raising your children. Now, Jay, I was here yesterday observing and you came home from work and spent at least 45 minutes upstairs before you even came downstairs. You know, maybe I just look at it as a time to unwind coming home from work for a few minutes. But you're selfish. Maybe that's my weakness. You have a wife at home raising your children, pregnant, tired, dealing with a child who's got ADHD, and you want to tell me, oh, well, maybe that's just the way I am. I'm sorry. I am not buying it. I think you should look at your wife's face to see what I'm talking about. And you need to tell him exactly what's going on here and tell him how you're feeling, because if you don't speak up, nothing is going to change for you, Carol Lee. Nothing. I need more help. There's one boy carrying the brunt for all of this, because apparently it's all his fault. Everything is being pushed onto Callan because he's got ADHD. We look at it that way a lot. Do you? Unfortunately. He doesn't want to be that way. Half of what he does is because impulsively he cannot help it. He needs encouragement from the pair of you, and he doesn't receive that. He doesn't need the hostility. And all it is is about being able to recognise as parents, how do we make things better for Callan? And that's the biggest thing I don't see right now. And that's sad. Carolee, I want to talk about the bigger picture here. You're carrying a child, Carolee, and if you do not start looking after yourself, you're going to find yourself in serious trouble. I know. And you need that support. The hardest thing that Joe told me is that I'm selfish, thinking about maybe myself and my needs before actually taking care of the kids properly. I've got a lot of work to do, a lot of work ahead of me. You will be accountable parents who will change your situation if you want to. And I want to. That's what I'd like to do too. After the meeting with Joe, I feel a little sense of relief because she told Jay how it was. He needed to hear that. Now we can move forward and take her criticism to heart. Any questions? What about when do we start? Oh, yeah. I'm okay, sure there will we be. Start? <laughs> we start now. All right. Some of the frustration in the house is due to Carol Lee's frustration in dealing with Callan's ADHD. So rather than concentrate on discipline straight away, I wanted to give Mum an exercise so that she could fully understand Callan's medical condition. 
I'm going to ask you to read this article. Okay. I would like you to put the headphones over your ears. Tell me afterwards what it's about, okay? Okay. I wanted to show Mum how challenging and difficult it can be when you're trying to focus on one thing and you've got everything else around you going on, which is so often what it feels like for a child who's got ADHD. Right. No matter what, you read the article, you put the headphones on. I've got your children, OK? Children with ADHD are easily distracted by their environment. This was a chance for Carol Lee to experience what Callan feels every day. Go into the sitting room and go, la 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 I wanted to make things really chaotic to see if she could still focus on what she was supposed to be focusing on. It's all day, oh, mummy. Hey, it's all day, oh, mummy. Yeah. Ready? All this stuff was going on, it was stressful, you know, and I'm like, gosh, if this little guy is feeling this all the time, you know, it's got to be rough. Impossible. OK, what's it about? I have no idea. There was too much going on that I couldn't concentrate on what I was reading. So imagine how Callan feels when he wants to be good and achieve, but, but he can't. He feels like he's not in control. He can't. There is so much that we can do to improve Callan's life. Mum was definitely getting a better idea of what Callan's life was like. So later on in the afternoon, I wanted to work on a major issue in this house, and that was homework. As much as possible, what you want to do is to create this environment here in this space, very peaceful for Callan so that he can focus. Every time he shows you a loss of interest or he becomes frustrated with himself, pep him back up again. I had Dad take Colbin and Cadence into another room so that they wouldn't distract Callan. Ready for the homework? Give me five. Can we do it? Step two was to show Carol Lee how to have a positive attitude before she started to do homework with Callan. Say, so Callan can do his homework. Callan can do it. Because I'm a smart boy. I'm a smart boy. Yeah, because you're a smart boy. Off you go then. Go and do your homework. Okay. This is what we need to do here. It's kind of a lot. And yeah. like... No, it's not. Carol Lee was just using very negative language and setting up the whole experience in such a pessimistic way. We've got three sets of different homework. You're going to choose which one you want to do first. Mummy's going to go and get a pencil, and then when she comes back, you decide which page you want to do first. OK? You find a good page? Oh, good. Oh, look. Give him a chance to work it out himself. It was still fine. Good. Good, Cameron. What if I sharpen the laser? No, we won't have an eraser to use. What will happen? Focus. Here, Cameron. Callan started to lose his focus, so I stepped in to teach Carol Lee exactly how to put him back on track with lots of praise and encouragement. Give me five. Give Mummy five. We know you can do it. Six plus two is eight. Oh, you're a smart boy. Callan really needed this. He needed to feel confident and comfortable in doing his homework. I just wanted to do one more because I wanted to be done. Yeah. Sounds good. I've seen these two struggle for up to an hour and a half, which is way too long for any six-year-old, let alone a child who's got ADHD. Very good. Let's count the pages. And today was fantastic, because it actually took him 20 minutes to complete his homework, and that was because he was so focused. How many? Holy cow. How many? Six. Ooh. Six. Six? That is amazing. Oh, what? It seemed like night and day. He does six pages of homework, you know? I mean, absolutely amazing. It was awesome. I'm so proud of you. I knew you could do it. Did you know you could do it? Yeah. It feels really good to get my homework done. Homework's easier. Now I have my special place. When Jay gets home every day, he immediately escapes upstairs. But he's got a wife who's pregnant with three other children and one who's got ADHD. Today, I wanted to teach him to step up and give his family more support. We need you more involved in that house. Yeah. It's not too hard to go inside, is it? I hope. And give your wife a kiss and ask her how her day's been. Oh. Say hello to the kids. 
And then you can go upstairs and get yourself changed. Okay. And then come downstairs and spend some time with your kids. Get with it. This is your family. All right. I'm going to be inside. OK. Come into your home. Hey, baby girl. How you been? Give daddy a big kiss, huh? Give me a kiss. Jay made the effort with Cadence, but now it was time for him to see how Carol Lee was doing. Hello, hello. We were both surprised to see that Mum was in tears. Mum's in an emotional, stressed-out place right now, and pregnancy is just adding to that. So Dad needs to be more sensitive. I need a break. Put, put Cadence down. This was a chance for Jay to just reach out and show his wife his support. Are you OK? What's going on? Nothing. <coughs> Can I come in? I'm really not in the mood to talk right now. Whatever you're upset about, give him a chance to come in so that you can talk to him, OK? So that you can share this with him, so that he can understand you. This has given him a chance to understand exactly what's going on in your world when he's at work, Carol Lee. You all right? Yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> Sorry, you had a hard day. I am a bag of emotions. Everything that maybe I have been feeling, I kind of have buried a lot of it. And Joe has just kind of brought all these emotions to the surface. And I'm just facing everything head on. You came home from work and you saw Carol Lee upset. Your wife needs your help. It's his responsibility as well, raising those children. And it's not about him just going to work and earning a crust and then coming home and saying, right, I've done my bit. I'm done. You do the rest. You need to step up. Step up. Right. She wants to hear what you can do with her to improve the situation with your family. Because this one lady cannot do it by herself. When she said, you know what, you need to get in there and get involved and grow up, he's listening to what she has to say. There's got to be a level of maturity here, because you have three children. I need a lot of help learning how to be a dad as far as communicating. It made me think a lot what needs to happen. Give each other some good family nourishment in this house, because it's not happening. Yeah. I'm going to have to do my part to make it happen. Sorry you've had a hard day. Huh? Lifting the mood in this house was key in getting Jay and Carol Lee to resolve a situation that had a very simple solution. These jars are going to regulate the amount of snacks that they're grazing on throughout the day. I'm convinced that these kids are continuously grazing on snacks because they want their mum and dad's attention. Give the children a choice to snacks, OK? Controlling the amount of snacks that the kids can have and when they can have them will stop them from constantly nagging mum and dad when they can have them throughout the day. When it is time for them to have a snack, they take out of their own jar. I think that's going to make a big difference. The next thing to do was to get the kids involved so they would embrace the new rules for snack time. You guys get to pick treats and put it in your very own jar. Thanks, great. OK, decorate your boxes. Grab that and put that next to the cave. Do you want to put some stars on your box? Yeah. Oh, I like these ones. I'm really proud of myself. Good job. Oh, I think that the kids are excited about it, that they can pick their snacks and, you know, have this to look forward to. Well, it's snack time, I'm going to pick this. Right. right. Good. Yeah. It worked really well, using the snack jar technique. They are able to choose what they want to eat and, at the same time, allow Mum to keep them out of that pantry. Yeah. I'm leaving now, and I'm going to be gone for a few days. No. I'm going to leave you guys to really enforce the techniques that you've been taught here. My biggest worry is knowing how to deal with Callan. I don't want to get beat up. I don't want him throwing punches and hitting me. See you soon. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye, Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm quite anxious to see how they'll get on without me. And I'm particularly curious to see how Mum and Callan will do whilst I'm away.
both mum and dad are going to be a little bit anxious about the what they're going to see on the DVD, most definitely, but they need to see it. Are we ready? Sure. Yep. Hold my breath. <laughs> are you holding your breath? I'm glad you're holding your breath because it's when you come home from work. Hi, baby. What's up? How's school today? Good. So you got stressful a little bit at one point. Okay, Mom. We had a few moments. Mom, Hurry yeah. and go change. So do what now? Go change. Yeah. Hurry. Yeah. I need to lay down for just 10 minutes. I don't okay, feel Mom. good. Mom, I'm going to go upstairs for now. I'll be back in a bit. Woo, sorry. OK, on your mark. Oh, as soon as Dad gets down here, I guess I don't get a break. Sorry it took longer because well, she... Well, I really don't feel good, so... Like, I was serious. OK, oh your takeover. I got to okay. go lay down. Seriously, come on, get with it. If you know that your wife's not feeling well, and Carol Lee blatantly said to you, I'm not feeling well, can you go upstairs and come back down? Then do it. We did talk about that later. And we thought, you know, what we could have probably worked out better is having her go have a break first before I even had the chance to even go upstairs. But do you see what you're doing there? No, I do. You would rather have Carol Lee take a nap as soon as you get in because she's so scared that if you go up there, you'll never return. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. And there she is carrying the whole weight of the world on her shoulders. You need to understand just a little bit how heavy it is for Mum during the day. So, what we do need from you is to start getting productive and take responsibility. Right. Moving on to the next one. Oh, but you need to use this thing right here, OK? You circle the higher number using these two numbers, OK? And our actual is eight. Good, Callan. Perfect. Underline the two after it. No, on here, honey. Our actual is seven. Good, Callan. And I'm all done with this one. Good, that was fast. I was loving it. Yeah. Look at this. I mean, it's like a turnaround. Love the praise. Hadn't seen a lot of it. I'm seeing it now. See how it goes around. Yeah. Definitely. It's neat. <laughs> it's a lot better than what I thought. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Let's get straight to it. Are you wanting something to eat because you're bored? Yes. Okay, let's find something to do then. What can we do? No, I'm not playing. I'm not the one I've been. Well, you know we're not going to, and I'm not going to sit and argue with you about it. If you continue to do this with me, I'm going to put you in timeout. Stop! Okay, let's go to timeout. This is unacceptable no. behavior, Callan. This is unacceptable yes. behavior. Stop yelling at me! I am not yelling at you. Stop! Does it feel good to bite me? Does it feel good to you to hit me? You just hit me in the nose. This is enough. I'm not. <laughs> hey, go. I'm not going to You are going to go on timeout. If you continue, if you continue to. Mommy. Don't bite me, Callan. Now stop it! OK. Explain to me, Carol Lee, exactly how Callan is feeling right there. He's frustrated. He's angry. It's a tough situation because I want to follow the rules and I want to, you know, have snack time when we have snack time. And I knew it was going to be an argument. Carol Lee, where's the adult that understands and recognises that he has ADHD? Somebody has to make a decision about who is going to change their behavior pattern and that person cannot be the child. Right. Has to be the adult. But he shouldn't be. <clears throat> he still shouldn't be allowed to hit me and Correct. kick me. It's not the answer just to punch and to kick. But of course it is the answer because he knows no different. Right. So you need to show him what the answer is. You could have done that in five minutes by going up to him and embracing him and giving him a hug and say, come on, let's sit down and talk about this for a minute. Don't underestimate this piece of footage here because unless you guys realise the amount of homework that you need to do in changing the way you behave and recognising that you have to put your own feelings aside, the anger, 
towards a child who you know can't help what he's doing right now, how would you ever give him a chance or yourselves? He needs more love, you know, and he needs to have that compassion. I think I just didn't maybe understand or know how to deal with it the right way. I felt very emotional about what Callum was going through and seeing him on the DVD struggling so much. I didn't see that when I was in the moment. So I'm glad we've sat down and we've watched this DVD. And I hope that this DVD footage has brought real valuable insight so that you can start to build your relationship each with Callum. You're right. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. She's given us a lot of positive feedback. We're ready to do it, We're ready to go to the next level. We better get started quickly. All right. All right. Carol Lee was still finding it very difficult to control her frustration with Callan, and I wanted to do a little exercise to teach her how to be more sympathetic. There's a picture of someone here, and um, I just wanted you to tell me who it was. That's Callan. This is here for a reason. When we are in a place that feels difficult, we can come up here. We could take a look at that beautiful smile and those glossy eyes. And we're going to read all the words that you are going to place around this picture of Callum that are positive about who this little boy is. It's all words that are going to come from your heart. Carol Lee just needed to take a moment to just reflect and see the positive things about Callum and not all the negative things. It wasn't hard for me to, to write on paper how I really feel about him. And I think he's a wonderful little boy, and I think he has a lot of great things to offer. He's cute, handsome, and beautiful. I think that going up there and looking at his beautiful, cute face, seeing these words is really going to help me to be able to go back to him and deal with the situation like I need to. Enthusiastic, handsome, curious, sensitive, soft-hearted, beautiful, fun, explorative, sweet, playful, and a big brother, and I love him. The little boy that you look at here, all of these things, so that you can detach emotionally how he's behaving, so that you don't take it personally and you recognize it for what it is. Since Carol Lee has had to focus so much on Callan because of his ADHD. I wanted her to take time to do a fun activity with both her boys. We're going to play Master Chef this afternoon. You are both going to cook food for your friends to come round and have dinner time with you. I think it's important for Mum to not look at everything as being stressful because she's stopping herself and her kids from having fun afternoons where they can be creative. Sounds fun. So I've got some aprons over here. OK. Are the two chefs ready to work together in making their good pizza? Yes. Yes. Good. The key thing was to give each boy a task so they would achieve something together. Everyone take a seat. And get your cutting board ready, and we'll cut them up and put on our pizza. We don't always take the time to let them be hands-on with things, and they really enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to be good. In making these boys feel really proud with what they'd achieved, I asked Mum to invite some of their friends around so they could all try the pizza together. Perfect. That's going to be a great pizza. You know when they've had a good time. They weren't fighting with one another. They wanted to work with each other and, and really just enjoy that time. Oh, look. OK, put it up here. I'm really good at making pizzas. You are that good looks good. at making pizza. You made it. Everyone make the pizza. Actually, Yummy. this is really tasty. You are a very good chef, you know hey, that? I'm a good cook. You are. I'm sure there was reflection for Mum to sit and think, why didn't I do this before? You know, they've had a real fun time. Hey, I think I think the chef should shake hands. <laughs> shake hands. Nice. I wanted to show Jay exactly how much responsibility Mum carried every day. I had talked to him, but now it's time to let him feel that. What you are going to do, Jay, is you are going to carry Mum's weight throughout today. Sounds like an interesting challenge. There are bags, catch. Yeah, that's All pretty right. heavy. These weights were going to symbolise the weight that Carol Lee has to carry on her shoulders every day. 
As you can see, one side is labelled Colbin, the other one Callin. Okay. We've got Cadence here. Mum's pregnancy on the other one. Okay. Cooking and catch cleaning. And it was a lot of weight that was put into this backpack. I think oh, it's going to make me fall down. <laughs> I'm carrying a lot of weight on my shoulders every day, and you know that he needs to step up and be more sympathetic to that. They get pretty exhausting after a while, though, I can tell. So Carolee and I stepped back to see how Jay would do. It was very strenuous having that backpack on there. And I literally almost fell over a couple of times. Are you trying to knock me over? The whole time I was thinking, just get this thing off my shoulders, please. It was horrible. <sighs> you guys are a lot of weight, you know that? I can start, I'm starting to feel it on my shoulders already. I'm sure that has given him more empathy and understanding how Carol Lee is feeling. Mm. <gasps> Uncomfortable. Are you feeling the weight of mum? Only right here. <laughs> Was it a bit harsh? Nah, he got the message. Oh, OK, how are you feeling? I thought it, it was silly at first, but then as time went on, I thought, you know, this is what Carolee obviously goes through every day. So, Jodo's going to put her coat on, get ready to leave. Jill brought reality into her home. Thank you. She You're put welcome. the cards on the table. She told us how it was. And I think that that's what, honestly, me and Jay needed. Make sure you say thank you for coming and visiting us. I owe Jo a lot. She's, uh, she's shown me a, a lot of things that I need to change about myself. She told me to step up, and I'm going to step up. Remember, boys, to play nicely. It is just amazing to me how she can be there for a short period of time and really understand and give you the tools that you need to help the situation. Right. Well done. Thank you. Take care. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes. Um, I think you take okay. it off <laughs> I was waiting for it. <laughs> I feel that Jay understands how much support he needs to give his wife. And I know that Carolee now has the confidence that she needs to deal with Callan's ADHD. And I hope that parents who have got children with ADHD know that they too can achieve with their own family. I think it will be a lot less stressful now doing activities with the kids. We're excited to get out there and, and do a little bit more with them. Low five. Nice job. Well, there's been some really good things that have come of this. Goose. Mom! Oh. <laughs> We're kind of to the point where it doesn't have to be stressful. You know, it can be fun. And with that, I definitely enjoy being a mom more. Women. It's a different Jay that we're seeing right now. My wife's probably starting to feel that as well. What's up? Can I get a hug? Mm -hmm. I feel more confident understanding where Callan's coming from. In the land of giants. This is a very special story. And I think that with that, I can take this and make things a lot better for our family. Stay right now. We're not going to give up. It's a new day.